Hey everybody, Brandy here. We've got another really fun, playful, um, Magritte inspired art project for you to try today. This project is inspired by a series of paintings by Magritte that he painted between 1947 and 1965. Um, and in all of these paintings, they're pretty mysterious. People don't, aren't quite sure what he meant by them, but that's kind of kind of the fun of them. They're, they're open to interpretation, so we get to decide for ourselves what we think they mean. Um, but in all of these paintings, they show a street scene at night. And you can tell it's nighttime because it's pretty dark. Most of them have like one street light in them or a window with one light on when all the rest of the windows are dark. So it's a nighttime scene. But the interesting thing about them is that the background, the sky behind the scene is daytime. Um, so pretty fun. Again, it's a really typical of Magritte in that it's really playful and kind of tricks your eye. Some people believe that Magritte painted the night and day together um, to show that our dreams wake up when we go to sleep at night. Um, so we're going to be using that idea today for our project. We're going to be putting some surreal dreamlike objects up in our daytime sky. So hope you have fun with it. Let's get some supplies together and get creating. All right, for this project, what you're gonna need is this light blue paper, your container of white paint, cotton balls, that foam tray, something to draw with and something to color with. And then you'll also need this gray paper, this long skinny black rectangle, and that white paper. You will also need some scissors and glue. All right, for step one, you're gonna get your blue paper and turn it portrait style this way up and down and you're gonna get that cotton ball in that white paint and dab you in some clouds While our daytime sky is drying up here, we are gonna work on the nighttime scene that's in the foreground of this art project. So for this, you're gonna need your gray, maybe also your black. Um, and with these papers, we are gonna make the buildings and maybe trees that are part of this street. So your job is to use your imagination, design some houses or buildings. Um, maybe there's a sidewalk. Um, maybe there's a street lamp that has some light shining. Um, you might use a yellow to add some color, to add some light in your nighttime scene. Maybe one of your buildings has a light on in one of the windows. You could use a yellow to show that light, okay? I just want you to keep in mind that after you design your buildings, we're going to cut them out and glue them down on the foreground of this painting and they're going to they're going to go about like this, okay? So your buildings need to be about this big or so, okay? About half of this gray paper, okay? If you drew a huge old building that was like as tall as this whole paper, it would cover up our entire sky. Okay? So your building should be about about that tall, about half of the gray. So if you want, you could even fold it in half to remind yourself that your building should only be about that high. Okay. With the black, this is a great, great paper to use to create um, some outlines of trees, some silhouettes of trees. Um, if you'd like to use the black to do that, that could look really neat in there too. So now would be a great time to pause the video and create some nighttime buildings. Once you have your street scene drawn, you're ready to cut it out. Once all of your street scene pieces are cut out and your clouds are dry, you can now arrange them on the foreground of your project. When you've found an arrangement you like, you're ready to glue it down.
After your pieces are all glued down, you might notice that maybe your buildings hang off the edge a little bit or your trees hang off the edge a little bit. Um, if you wanna trim those off, you can, but I think it looks kinda cool with them hanging off the edge there. Totally up to you. The next step of this project is adding some surreal, dreamlike objects floating in our daytime sky. Remember, some people think that this nighttime, daytime idea was Magritte's way of talking about how our dreams wake up while we're going to sleep. So we're gonna put some of our dreams up here in the sky. Um, so what you're gonna need is your white paper and something to draw with. And you are just gonna draw some objects, some small objects. They need to be about this big, so about this big on your paper, okay? Um, so that we can fit a few of them up here. Draw some objects on this paper that can then float around in your sky. So once you have some objects drawn, you are ready to cut them out and arrange them on your project. All right, you can see I've got some of my objects here all cut out. I think I've got them arranged how I like them. I've included a couple Magritte's there, his green apple, his famous bowler hat. I often dream of breakfast, so I've got a plate of bacon and eggs up there. A tooth. Have you ever had a dream about teeth? What's that about? I love this fish swimming through the tree there. And this, if you have a really sharp eye, you might have noticed this little melting clock actually is an image that comes from another artist who's also a surrealist. He was a friend of Magritte's, um, so I thought I'd include him there. This clock comes from the artist Salvador Dali. He's from Spain. So, little nod to another surrealist there. Yeah. Once you have your shapes all arranged, hopefully you included some things from your own dream. Um, once you have them all arranged, you can glue them down and your Magritte Empire of Light project is finished. Great work.